I'm Tim Barrett with Destination South Meetings and Events, and I'm a meeting planner, and this is my second time getting to work with Rennie, and the amount of research and background that he does before stepping on that stage is amazing. The chair for this conference actually came up to us afterwards and says he knows our group better than we know ourselves, which is a huge testament to what you can expect when you hire Rennie. So we just heard Rennie speak at our uh, African American Summit here at Axe Advisors. He did an awesome job. What's cool about it is that Despite the fact that his experience comes out of the athletic arena, he was able to make it relevant to financial services in a way that was not only inspiring, but motivating. I'm already getting feedback from a lot of my folks that we want to have him back, and we are looking forward to having him back in front of a larger, larger audience at some point in the future. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Scott, the chaplain at the Baylor School in Chattanooga. Rennie Curran came to Baylor for Spirit Week and led off our activities for the week with a great deal of enthusiasm and skill. He not only has something to say, but he knows how to say it to high school students. I recommend him highly. Hi, I'm Chuck Warbington, the president of the Gwinnett Rotary Club, and today our keynote speaker was Rennie Curran. Uh, he spoke to us today about influence and a uh, very ins inspirational uh, message to our club members and I uh, look forward to having him back sometime soon. This was awesome. Yes, man. I am a star. I, I am, am a star. star. This was one of the best, most encouraging, yes. motivating assemblies that I have ever had the opportunity to be a part of. Yes. I would recommend Mr. Curran to anyone, anyone. Yes. And, that, and the great thing is, is that he told his story about where he came from, the hardships in life, but he let our students know here at Waldo Pafford Elementary that any of them, regardless of their background, could be a star. If they set smart goals, they can be a star. Great job. But you know the best thing he said? He let them know you're already a star. Already a star. And you already have what it takes inside of you right now to be, to be your star. star. Great job, Mr. Kern. Yes. I hope that this is explodes for you. We here at Waldo Paffer are happy that we were fortunate to be the first group of students wow. that we heard from, that we heard, and we wish you the best of luck. I'm Mark Hodge, head football coach at Chapman High School. Um, we have been blessed to have Rennie Curran come speak to our football team and our program, uh, part of our player development program. Um, uh, heard lots of great things about Rennie coming in, um, but what he brought was way greater than, uh, than I expected or anticipated. Um, his message was very professional. His message was um, very intentional, and it was specifically for us. Um, the things amazed me was just uh, how much he had prepared um, for us and our team, uh, the things that he knew off the top of his head that he didn't have to have notes for um, was just second to none, first class. Um, but the message that he brought of, of empowerment, the message that he brought of faith, the message that he brought of, of persevering and, and um, actually uh, investing in yourself and actually um, not setting limiting goals was very powerful. I and mean, that's thing that's probably the most powerful to me is, is uh, he mentioned, well, what if you do reach your goal? Um, and uh, so spoke on that. He didn't you know, speak on the fact that you may or may not reach your goal. He spoke, okay, so what if you do reach your goal? Um, and it was very powerful to realize how many goals are actually limiting. Um, which is huge because you know we we specifically here try to preach to uh, try to do things that you can't do on your own things that are greater than you that requires God's help and um, you know he spoke directly to those things about you know don't limit yourself and open up so um, I was excited uh, that he was coming um, but I'm now more excited that he actually came so you know, give him um, our highest compliments um, give him our, our highest references and um, yeah, he would be someone for for sure, for sure, for sure that you need to look at to come speak to um, your organization, your team, whatever it may be, because uh, um, he does have a powerful message that uh, you will take something from. So. The big thing I took from tonight is just how um, you personalized our message and talked to some people on the team where it wasn't like you were just giving us a generic speech, you were giving us you know, something that we needed to hear. That, that was really big and really, really made me feel comfortable taking advice from you. It felt more personal, you know what I mean? Um, I, I was really excited about that and, and I know we're going to take a lot from it. Um, 
It was really great just getting to know you, just getting to you know talk ball with you too, and that you came and ate with us. I'm really glad you did that. That too, also just having that uh, comfortable, personable kind of feel to it. It's awesome to uh, learn about someone who's you know gone through uh, things you want to go through, like you know someone who's accomplished the goals that you want to achieve and and things you want to do in your life, and so. You know, he, he's talking to you from that perspective. I was that kid. I you know I was I was used to sitting in that seat. You know, and that that really speaks volumes to the kind of person he is, and uh, and to the kind of advice he can give uh, young people, especially young athletes. My name is Gay Smith, and I'm the executive director of the Georgia Family Connection Partnership. And we just had the pleasure of having Rennie Curran deliver an exciting speech to our entire audience of 400 people from all over the state of Georgia. We could be not any more pleased with how this went. Our, our audience is inspired. It was obvious to us that Rennie did his homework, that he really studied who we are and what we represent, and he delivered the message that we all needed to hear that will continue to inspire us in our work on behalf of children and families going forward. He was exciting, he was charismatic, and again, the fact that he spent so much time doing his background and listening to us to make sure that he brought to us the key messages we needed to hear was impressive. I would highly recommend him to any audience.